Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching. And today I will be going over map layers recently introduced in Tableau 2020.4, which is what we've been waiting for for quite some time now, where we can add as many axes to a map as we would like. So now we can add more than two sets of points to a map and I'm going to show you how. So. Let's say we want our first layer to be a store state. So we're just going to double click that. And let's also color the store states each different color. So there, that's, that's one layer. Just not, not, nothing irregular about that. So let's say we also want to add our store points. We want to know where our stores are within these states. So we are going to add a marks layer and the way you do that is you will go from your store points which has been created using a make point function go back in my previous videos to see how I did that but let's say you want to drag on your store points onto the canvas and then add a marks layer will pop up and you're just gonna throw it right here and now you have a second layer with your store points. And let's say we want to color each store point differently. Oh, could also do that. Oh, sorry, no we can't. <laughs> My bad. So we need more detail in it. So we could add store city color it by city so there now we have our store light store store states as one color and our store points as another color well let's say we want to add a third layer to this we want to know where our customers are at which previously you could not do unless finagling with the data in a certain way we can just straight throw it on top of this next layer and drag our customer points onto the marks layers and now we have our customer points. So let's say I want to be able to clearly distinguish where our customers versus our stores are. So we are going to make our customer points white and 100% opacity so they stand out. And we are going to make our store points and let's make them make them green and a hundred percent opacity and a black border stand out and then you can add as many layers to this map as you would like so now we see that we have all of our st stores in these given states and all of our stores are gr are the green points and all of our customers are the white points so let's say we want to add even more to this we could add another one called store zip code as another layer and that is going to make every zip code of a store a different color on this map and yeah that is layers in tableau it is much easier than making it dual axis i don't even think the option is there anymore and you are able to do this with as many points as you need to as long as they are related now let's say i try to hop over to a second data source that is not related to this one and I want to add customer city. It's going to error out. This only works with related data sources. So if I were wanting to add customer city, I would need to relate. So that was made off layers one. I would need to re relate it to that file. By dragging the sheet on here and we could just do customer city equals customer city 
boom. Now we'll go back to our dashboard. And now we should be able to add the customer points from a separate data source since they're now related. So here we go. This is from the new data source. There's one, there's two, and then let's say we also want to change the size. I think we have seven layers right now. We want to change the size of our store points to be a little bit bigger than our customer points. We can do that. Don't know why the size isn't changing. Automatic. Boom. And yeah, that is a high level overview of layers in Tableau. And I hope this video helps you guys out with making maps in your future endeavors. And please like and subscribe to my channel and comment below if you would like to see anything else related to mapping via Tableau. Thank you and I will catch you guys all later.